What's up, everybody? It's another day of the Egun Love Challenge where we are challenging our ancestors and our spirit guides to show us that they are real and to show us the magic that they can be able to create in our lives. And today, we are going to step out a little bit and we are going to have a holy day. So think of today almost as like your personal church day. Today is February 11th, 2021. So of course, we have a lot of energy for sensitivity, right? So um, ironically enough, when we go down to the low shoe board, what we're seeing um, is a perfect balance of day to have balance and harmony. It's perfect. All other energies still remain intact. The arrow of low memory, the arrow of frustration, skepticism is still there and inactivity. So we're still not doing, we're still putting together a plan. But today, Egun wants to have a conversation with you specifically. Today is not a together day. Today is, I'm going to go talk to my Egun and you go talk to your Egun and then, you know, we'll come together and have some real, real fun times. And so if you are single, again, this is something that you can be able to do. Now, here's what you want based off of all of the energy that is out today. Are you expressing that creative power that is really within you? And specifically the energy that is needed for you to create the desires that you want to create in your life. Here is a true fact. And I hope that by now, by this day, you've already seen this work in your life. Your guys often enter into your life through signs and synchronicities. Carl Jung, which is a very respected psychologist. Um, he was also a mystic, although he didn't necessarily want to admit that he was. He talks about synchronicities being these meaningful coincidences. An example would be realizing that you need to improve your romantic relationship after having a fight with your partner before bedtime. And then out of the blue the next day, you notice a book about communication and romantic relationships sitting in a co-worker's desk. I had a very similar experience. Many of the activities have been inspired from a Love Dare book that I found in the park while I was walking when I went and I was having a disagreement. My husband and I were having a disagreement and I needed space. And so I went and I walked into the park. And as I was walking into the park, I have the video, I stumbled across this book just laying in the middle of the pastures. Now, the book is highly Christian and a little bit too patriarchal and judgmental, really, for me to fully embrace it. However, there are so many great activities that are in there and so many great things that I was able to take away from the book. And it really was a basis of why I'm putting this video together in the first place. Because of that argument, looking at that book, looking at all of the energy together and the book was there for me to draw on as a reference while I'm putting this program together. Synchronicities, spirit guides, this is real. This ain't nothing to play with. If you want to change your life, your ego and your ancestors can help you do that. And that is what they are doing right now. Consider this, the book on your co-worker's desk to help you save your relationship. That's what's happening. Now, I teach people how to be able to get in touch with their egg room. This is something that I teach people how to do. However, let me give you the strict of my little healing system. It's something I call the Egun healing system. Number one, I've been kind of walking you through that now, if you haven't noticed. Number one, working on our energy bodies. You must picture the person that you look like on side. I have a powerful exercise that I walk people through of how to do this. Familiarizing yourself with your energy body, believing and accepting that there are a, a whole nother realm of people and activities and spirits and fairies and angels and things that are working on your behalf to make your life, your marriage, and everything better. That's the first step. 
The next one is gratitude and being in a space of appreciation. I took you through an exercise, I set you up, yes, where you were appreciating your partner and saying, hey, even though I may not agree with this dream that you have, I wanna show you that I support that. So we went through that gratitude. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the net, the third part of the egg wound healing system, and that is unfolding and really being able to pay attention to all of the signs that we have out in the cosmos. You see, like I said, ancestors talk through us through coincidences, meaningful uh, coincidences, specifically synchronizations. All of this is egun. And so we need to develop the ability to hear that. And so we're going to practice it. So what I want you to do is you can do it either together as a couple separately. If you like, it just depends. We ain't forcing nothing. I want you to create a spirit guide journal. You're going to get a journal and devote it solely to increasing communication between you and your guides. This is going to be a sacred place where you can write to your guides, write them a letter, ask for assistance, write down some of the signs and symbols that you believe that you saw. You're going to make sure that you do that. And then you're going to have, um, always have gratitude. Thank you so much for that sign. And then I want you to even consider naming your spirit guides. You know, it sometimes you can just, I, I look at something and, oh, Barbara, I, I'm not going to overthink it. It's 350,000 years of little me's and ancestors and bloodlines. I'm sure it's a couple Barbaras in there somewhere. So if I pop that in my head, I'm not going to second guess. I'm be like, oh, where I get that from? Oh, I must get that from somebody. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit God, whatever the case may be, to look after you and help you be able to grow and challenge. Ashe, 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 Ashe. Yo, thank you so much. I received that. Um, so you need to be open to be able to do this. This is also the day where I want you to maybe explore going to get some tarot cards or something so that runes or uh, if you want to create your own Loshu board that I've been using, your own karmic numerology board. Whatever it is, today is the day that you have received because I guarantee that if you came to this day, two things. Number one, you already been in the challenge and you've seen Egun show you signs and you're ready for more or you want to be shown signs and you're ready for more so regardless of whatever your journey is make sure that you are taking this step this is the unfolding step this is how you actually open your ears to your ancestors so get you some divination tools go ahead and um get you a Pinterest divination board. Oh, I had messages from my ancestors. And whenever you are on somewhere electronically and they send you something that's relevant, put that in a board. You are going to solidify your faith in Egun by paying attention to all of the signs and the symbols that are going on so that you can be in attunement and in an alignment. That is what today. Today is the energy. It's a holy day. Even though today is master number 11, the entire date adds up to nine, and nine is the number of Egon, honey. That's God, that's your ancestors, that's spirit guides, and they want to talk to you. They want to build a relationship with you. So this is what this day is for, for you to be in communication with your ancestors, to set up your vision, your ancestor board, your Egun board, your spirit guide journal, whatever you want to call it. We dealing with the ancestors, but whatever you want to call it, that is what you're going to do today. And for the rest of the week, you're going to write down your symbols. You're going to look back at the last few things that you've been doing over the last few weeks. Put that down in your journals and always thank them. Every time you recognize a symbol, thank you for showing me that 222 on my clock. I, you showed me 1111 all day. Thank you for bringing me to Nasaret's video. All of that. You want to make sure that you think and name them. If a name pops in your head, do not second guess it. If you look at cereal and you see that you looking at the uh, um, Jumpin' Jack Seagrams, then just be like, what's up, Jack? Whatever. Don't overthink it. I'm teaching you to listen to Egun, okay? Don't overthink it, okay? Go ahead, make your journals, listen to Egun, check back, let me know what the messages were. It's time to go to the next day, I'll